back to the channel. In my last video, I showed you how to assemble the GRS Buildicade by Arcade Workshop. It's a simple and fun little project to do by yourself or with some family and friends. And then you have a nice little arcade machine you can play once you get the software installed. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. We tried to make this entire process as easy as possible. We want you guys to enjoy the building process as well as playing it. So you can see how easy the build was in my last video. I'll put a link down below to that. But today we're looking at the software installation. How do you get the software on there? And we also include the new adventures of Robbie Roto. It's an included game, fully licensed from the licensee holder. So what I'm going to do right now is just turn on my builder cage right now. i got a power switch on in the back. It's already been charged up. It runs on batteries or AC power. And let this little guy boot up. And it'll take you right into our installer program. The only thing you're going to really need to set this up is a Wi-Fi connection and a USB keyboard. The mouse can actually be controlled by the joystick on the building cage itself. So right now it's just searching for a internet connection. And right now that has not been set up. So it will give us an error message. But that's okay because we're going to get right around that. Okay, once it does find an internet connection, you will get this error message. You can see I can use my joystick right here uh, to move around and move the mouse around. So I'm going to go down to cancel, hit the red button, and get rid of that. Next thing it's going to do is look for available uh, wireless connections that are in your building. I'm going to pick one myself right now. Then go down here, I'm going to put in my, my discreet secret password. Then we'll hit OK on this. And it'll attempt to connect to the wireless connection with the SSD and the password if necessary. We'll let that do its little thing. And it looks like it accepted it. So right now it's showing the proper build for our particular pie. So we're going to select our image here again with our joystick. Okay, you can use a mouse if you wanted to, but I didn't want to get one, and we can do it just fine here with the machine. So I'm going to select it right here, and we'll start the install process right here. It's going to tell you everything in here is going to be erased. That's okay, because we are going to install a new operating system on here. And this will take some time, depending on your wireless connection. We'll let this run through. Um, the build is not incredibly large, but I have a lot of things using Wi-Fi in my house, so it might take a little bit longer. But the install process will install the RetroPie image on here, uh, the controls for the machine itself, and also install the new adventures of Robbie Roto for the licensed game uh, due to the licensee holder. Believing in our product, and I'm um, so happy that they do. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far as well. And we'll just watch this go through and do its thing. Now we're syncing the file system, so it's begun most of its download process has been complete. OK, 
Okay, the OS has been completed successfully. So we're gonna take our joystick and select OK. It'll begin its reboot process. Okay, the software install has been completed. It's doing its reboot, and the machine should now be coming up with its operating system installed, as well as the game, The New Adventures of Robbie Roto, installed. Let's see what happens. Game on. <laughs> little nice little startup logo. Emulation station is uh, loading up. That's it, we're now here. So we currently have one game installed. That's the official license game, The New Adventures of Robbie Roto. We have other things like the options, configuration. We set up the controllers uh, for the other control panels, dual joystick games, one joystick, one button games, three button games, the spinner, which would also be uh, the steering wheel, trackball, favorites, last played, and so on. So if I go into here, you can see we have the new adventures of uh, Robbie Roto. The press enter, or the A button, I should say, on that. And the game should load up. And there it is. So we can put a coin in and hit the one player button. And we can start playing some new adventures of Robbie Roto. So that's it. The software, as you can see, is very easy to do. It's, it's uh, very easy to set up. The machine is very easy to build. And that's it for today's video. Uh, the GRS Builder Cage by Arcade Workshop pre-orders uh, are going on right now for $89. Um, we're hoping to ship them uh, November of 2022, if not sooner. But that's it for today's video, everyone. I hope you did like it. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. This takes a second for you guys, but it really means a lot to my channel. And well, that's it for today's video, everyone. The GRS Build the Cage by RK Workshop is a simple build, simple software install. You can start playing games right away. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It just takes a second for you, but it re means a lot to me and my channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. We have a lot of new things coming out. You'll be the first to hear about it here. But that's it for today. So just remember, no matter what, no matter how you play games, what you play games on, or how you do it, just remember to tell your family and friends that you love them. And most of all, game on.